One of the challenges we face as we go digital is that many people currently use indoor antennas to receive analog services. Now, indoor antennas work for some folks very well, but they do have their issues. Indoor antennas have ghosting and noise problems that we've just become accustomed to. We, we've learned as, when we see a, a ghost to move the antenna slightly. Uh, when we see noise, we know we're dealing with a slightly weak signal. In the digital world, these problems are compounded because unlike analog, which receives and displays the picture instantaneously, the digital signal requires a lot more information in order to display the picture. And when that information isn't present, the digital signal fails. So let's compare the two. Let's take a look at analog reception using indoor and attic mount antennas. What you see on the screen in front of you is two services. It's the same service, one being received with rabbit ears showing up on this side of the screen. The other service is using an attic mount antenna and it shows up on the other side of the screen. There are, there are artifacts happening to this picture that are not happening to this picture. Why? Everything in this room is impacting the service that's reaching this antenna. The, sur the signal coming in is bouncing off the walls, it's bouncing off the ceiling, it's being absorbed by furniture. All of the things in this room, including myself, are impacting the service. And the further I am away from the transmitter site, the more detrimental those things are to the service. So as you can see, the picture is quite watchable right now. But if I make a small change to the antenna by rotating it, you can see the picture getting noisier and noisier, breaking up. All the while, those changes are having no impact on the, on the attic mount antenna. There's nothing in the attic interacting with the service so the attic antenna continues to perform fine. Now let's take a look at the same situation using digital converters. These two boxes are designed to convert the digital signal they're receiving to analog and display it on a television set. In this particular display, what I've set up is on the left side of the screen is the digital converter box using the attic mount antenna. On the right side of the screen is the digital converter box using the rabbit ears and door antenna. As you can see right now, both are displaying the signal. But it doesn't take a lot, if I move this antenna slightly, for the digital service using the rabbit ears to start to fail. And as you can see, the image on the left side is going smoothly. The image on the right side is jerky. It has break, break up, sometimes called pixelation or macro blocking, frozen screen. These are all common symptoms of digital services running out of information and being unable to decode the picture. So if you decide that you actually do need to stay with indoor antennas, rabbit ears may not be your best choice. Notice as I rotate the rabbit ears, the picture freezes, it pixelates, and I'm not really turning them very much. It takes very little change to impact the rabbit ears. On the other antenna we have, it's a directional antenna. You'll notice that when I go over here to this antenna, again, it's indoor, it's still in the same hostile environment, but it's getting a much more stable signal because it's ignoring a lot of the bounces that are coming in. So when I move this antenna, it's less likely to lose signal. It's still not as good as an outdoor antenna, but it does do a better job. So in an indoor environment, if you have to use indoor antennas, a better choice might be going with a directional antenna like this one or something uh, even, even larger. It depends on how far you are from the transmitter site.